Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be going over a pretty cool and unique armor set that you're going to want to pick up in Brimstone Sands. And yeah, let's get started. So with the upcoming Brimstone Sands release, we're getting a new resource called Sulfur. And this Sulfur is used to make the Rune Glass casings. And if you don't know what Rune Glass is, it's basically two attributes instead of one that we're getting right now with our current gems. So your Malachites, your Onyxes, and your Diamonds. But as you can see with this one, we're getting 10% damage against targets with an active crowd control status effect plus 3% of your damage back as health. And if you were to slot this in your armor, you'll get 1.5% elemental, 0.5% physical damage absorption, and 3% of your damage back as health. So you're getting two attributes instead of one. So these are going to be very sought after, especially for PvP. And you can get this sulfur in the sulfur mines I marked here on the map. There's only certain locations you can get it. And it's not just as simple as just going out and gathering it. There's very dangerous mobs along with acid pulls that can get you killed very quickly. I want to show you guys right here in this clip. So if you're in Brinsdale Sands and you're looking for the sulfur mines, it's this orangey effect area with pools of water around it. There's one right there, one to the left, and a couple north. So they're pretty easy to spot if you're looking for the sulfur mines. But what I want to show in this clip right here is how much damage you take from the acid that's in the area. There's these pools of acid right here that if you step into it, your acid resistance will start kicking in. But once that's gone, your health just chunks. Watch, you can see there goes my resistance, and then boom, there goes my health. So again, the sulfur is not just going to be as, as easy as just going up and gathering it. Because as I go get this resource, you're going to see there's these new mob types too, called abominations. And they try to pull you into the acid with them, and they do a ton of damage as well. So the price of sulfur will probably go for a good amount on the market, I would assume, because of how dangerous it is to get this resource. But to counteract this uh, damage you're taking from the acid, I found a set of armor during my PTR testing that I want to go over with you guys real quick. So with the upcoming update, we're getting a new armor set that we're able to craft in the armoring station called Chitin. And what it does is it gives a plus 10 acid resistance on top of a 50% slower tick rate. And if you're able to get all five pieces, that's a... 50, that's plus 50 to your acid resistance on top of a 75% slower tick rate, which is going to be huge on trying to get that sulfur resource from the sulfur mines. And I'm not sure if this armor is BOE or BOP, but what I found in the testing is that you're going to need armoring to level 200. So I'm assuming that's going to be BOE since your armoring has to be so high, but this could change. It could be lower. This is just what it was in the PTR. And then you're going to need a tier 5 outfitting station as well. And the mats you're going to need to craft this are your, your regular legendary mats and then chit and plate and chit and padding, which I'll go over how to get and how to craft right now. So to craft the chit and padding that gives you the acid resistance on the armor, it's pretty simple. You're going to need this alloy gel, which is located all throughout Brimstone Sands. It's these plants called succulent that you're able to harvest. Same thing with the cactus flesh, it's just all over the place. And to get the chit and parts, you're going to want to salvage scorpions. And they're located all throughout the Brimstone Sand Zone as well. And to craft the chit and padding, you're going to need one chit and plate, which is this. Five alloy gel, 30 cactus flesh, three runic leather, and three phoenix weave. And the chit and plate, you're going to need eight chit and parts, which are the scorpions you're going to salvage. Two layer leather, and then one tannin. So super, super easy to get. And if you're not able to craft the armor, say like, say like your army is only level like 100 and you're not high enough to craft the armor there's these tinctures you're able to get called acid tincture and it requires 20 cactus flesh five alloy gel five sulfur five charred sand the hardest part is getting the sulfur because you're gonna have to go to the sulfur mines just make sure you're geared pretty good when you go there and then to get the charged sand it's going to require five sandstone block and one obsidian sandpaper the sandstone is located all throughout brimstone Super easy to find. You're also going to need level 100 in Arcana. But this could change. Like I said, this is just how it was in the PTR. And then a tier 4 Arcane Station as well. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys. I hope this video helps you get that sulfur so you're able to craft those room glass gins and make some money doing so. And if it did, please consider subscribing, like the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys. Have a great day.